Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can install Eclipse IDE on our Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. Before installing Eclipse IDE, the prerequisite of installing Eclipse IDE is that you need to have Java installed on your Windows operating system. So if you don't have Java installed on your Windows operating system, and if you don't know how to install Java, I have already created a video about it. So you can watch that video. And then once the Java is installed, we are ready for the Eclipse IDE installation. So for that, open your favorite browser and search for Eclipse IDE. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipseide.org. So we are going to click on this link and straight away you will see this download button. So I'm going to click on this download button. And then you have this try Eclipse installer option. There are multiple uh, Eclipse related packages also, which can be downloaded separately. But I will recommend you to install the Eclipse installer. And this Eclipse installer will allow you to install various different packages at the later point also. For example, if you want to uh, add the support of uh, Java or C++ or uh, PHP, you can do it at the later point also, right? So I'm going to click the link in front of Windows, which says x8664. Let me click on this uh, link, which is going to start the download of uh, this exe file, which is going to redirect me to this page. And when I click on this download button, hopefully it will start the download of Eclipse installer. So you can see Eclipse installer JRE. Windows 64 EXE. So I'm going to wait for this download to finish. And once this EXE file is downloaded, let's click on this EXE file and let me minimize this browser. And now I can see this Eclipse installer has been started. So at this point, you can see you can download all these packages from this list. For now, I just want to use Eclipse IDE for Java development. So I'm going to select the first option, which says Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And then I can see uh, Java 21 virtual machine. You can see uh, all these options here. On my local machine, I have Java JDK 25. So I'm going to select that. But if you want to uh, use these Eclipse uh, Java JRE versions, you can also do th that, right? So in my case, I'm going to choose the Java JDK, which is installed on my local Windows system. And then I'm going to click on the install button here, which is going to give me this kind of agreement uh, window. So I'm going to click on accept now, and then it's going to start the installation for the IDE for Java developers. At this point, I'm just to wait for you until this progress bar reaches the hundred percent mark. So after some time, I can see this message which says launch. So I'm going to click on this launch button, which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE on my windows operating system so now you can see the eclipse ide launcher has been launched and for the first time when it starts uh, it's going to ask you if you want to set the eclipse workspace so this is the default workspace where all your projects will be saved so if you don't have the good reason to change it just leave it as default and then click on launch which is going to launch eclipse ide on your Windows operating system. So now when Eclipse IDE starts, it's going to look something like this. So let's create a Java program to verify if everything is working fine. So we are going to click on file option and then select new and then click on Java project. And here we can give the name to our Java project, for example, demo Java. And then the execution environment JRE will be uh, java se25 in my case but you can choose uh, any other jre which you have installed on your uh, windows operating system right and then you have the project layout so it's going to create a separate folder for your source file which is fine for me and then if this option is checked for you just uh, uncheck this option which is for creating the module info.java file for now because we are going to create our own uh, class, right? And then I'm going to click on next here. And this will be uh, the folder structure and all the other 
uh, settings. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to just click on the finish button here. It is going to create my demo project. And here it have the source folder, but doesn't contain any uh, Java file. So we are going to create a Java class. Right click on the source uh, folder and then select new and then select class here. And we are going to name our class as, for example, hello. And then it will be a public class and super class is fine for me. But we are going to uh, create the public static void main inside this class. So just check this checkbox. So the main method is the main entry point of your program, right? So just check this checkbox and then click on uh, finish here, which is going to create this class for us. So in here, we are going to uh, print something. Let's say hello world. So I'm going to just write system dot out dot print ln. And then I'm going to just uh, close this parenthesis. And then in the curly brackets, I'm going to just write hello world here. And then we are going to just end this code with the semicolon here, right? Once that's done, we are going to try to uh, run our code by clicking on this uh, green run icon. And then it's going to show you this uh, file name. I'm going to select all and then click on OK here, which is going to compile my program and print the hello world text, right? I can add some more uh, exclamation points here and run it again and it's going to print that then you also have the debug option and other options here install eclipse for java developers and create a very simple java project inside your eclipse ide i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video